Ed was working with his grinder. It ended up slipping. He cut his hand. I mean, it's deep. He cut tendons. He might have got, gotten some bone. It's not good. This is like a really serious injury. This is the stuff that, that, that you worry about, that you hope never happens. Well, it happened. And, uh, and honestly, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, he's, he's really cut his hand bad. We're working on the flag, and um, we're using the grinders. We've got chainsaw wheels. And as the grinder came across, it, it caught and it came across the palm of his hand. All right. And it was that grinding wheel that you guys were working on the, on the flag with, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that mole thing coming in? Yes. Yeah, right now. Please. We got him. We want to keep him. We got him. His body is warm. His body is warm. I can feel it. Come on, buddy. You breathe in. Okay. Breathe in and out. Don't hold your breath now. Hey, let's get going. Let's go. Let's go. This is the stuff that, that you worry about, that you hope never happens. Well, it happened, and it's, uh, it's really kind of scary. Lost about a half a liter of blood. He has a BP of 142 or 85. Hang in there, buddy. Breathe in and out, sugar. Is it the pain, buddy? Is it the pain? It's my wife. She's pregnant with triplets. Nearly three months. We've been trying for two years. No wonder worrying about you, huh? Can you feel me touch your fingertips? No, I can feel that. Okay. There you go. On that finger, I can feel it. That's awesome. We're, we're getting close, buddy. We're really close. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you give me his name again? His name is Ed Sanders. Sanders. I can't really tell what's cut over there, but it looks like he might have cut tendon over there too. And uh, probably a nerve that goes to that finger. I'll need to be fixed. Just, uh, just out of interest, how long would you think before I get complete mobile? What's like access to it again? A couple months. A couple of months. Probably longer. And that's a lot of rehab involved in fixing a tendon. I was working on the very end of the flag, or that inside wave part was proving very problematic with the angle grinder I was using with the guard on, because the guard kept hitting the wood before the blade would. So the only way I could get to it was to take the safety guard off. And in a split second, I'm realizing that my hand is being torn apart by the blade. Let this be a lesson to everyone who's watching. There's always guards on machinery for a reason. Don't take them off. The moment I lifted my hand up and I saw what I saw, which was my finger bones, practically the whiteness, and the pain that was searing down my arm was like someone had thrust a red hot poker in my hand and was making me clench it. And as I'm looking at it, I'm just thinking I'm screwed. Well, I'm gonna get you ready for surgery then. Hey, bro. See you in a few hours, gang. See you in a few hours. It's unbelievable that we can do what we do in the amount of time that we have. And what's amazing is we have never had like really any kind of serious injuries. People don't realize, you know, this is real. We do the work, we do the projects, we're using the tools. But that's the thing, man. You use these tools, sometimes you get hurt. And I just hope he's not severely hurt. 
Ed? Hey, buddy. Hello, bro. How you doing? Good. Good to More see importantly, you, importantly, how are you? I, uh... I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I've been better. But the sur you went through surgery last night, though, right? Unbelievable. The doctor was just... He's made minced beef look like from filet mignon. Can you move your fingers? That's the great thing. Wow. If you'd have seen it yesterday, bruv, yeah. it looked... It just looked yeah. horrendous. I apologize. I, I really wish I'd never taken the guard off. Um, no, it's okay, man. Look, here's the reason I'm here, man. First of all, you're gonna be missed, you know? I know, I know you want to be there when the family sees the house. Yeah. Well, obviously you can't do that, so I'm gonna make sure you see it. So Ed, man, the poor guy, stuck in the hospital, you know, the Thomas family's about to come home. I know how much he wants to see this family, see their house. So I brought Ed a, a laptop so he could kind of see everything. Oh, so, bro, thanks. I know how much it means to you. I'm Jeez. so sorry this happened. We're gonna miss you. Um, is there anything I can, I can do I for just, you? It would be great if the project could get done. I was three quarters of the way through finishing it. Um, it just needs a styles put in and then a final wax on it. And uh, this week for me, it's, uh, it's bigger than furniture. It's bigger than a piece of art. It's, it's more than a flag. There's a lot of stuff gone into it. People from 9-11, past and present conflicts with Marines, the guys who were helping me. There's a lot more meaning into it now and I want to make sure it gets done for Dad. I promise you, I'll make sure it gets done. The flag speaks volumes about this country, what, what it represents and what the people fight for and believe in. I'm gonna be very proud for the day that I get to call myself an American because I kind of feel left out at home with my wife and son that they're already American. I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that.